it to the tune of two touchdowns. So, I mean, just uh, how well did the game plan come off for you guys on Saturday? We did good at getting the ball back and getting it in the end zone by, by Shaq. Um, so, yeah, that's all I can ask for in those situations. But, you know, uh, always want to stop the run and continue to get better at that. And have uh, tighter coverage when I need to. I think Coach B said post game that uh, you might have gotten a little frustrated that Danny was getting all the attention with the sacks. So, uh, with your three, how, how well do you feel like you played overall on Saturday? Uh, we did pretty well. I mean, you know, nothing different than what we've been doing in our first couple of weeks. Um, you know, it just ended up that I, I, I got to clean up you know, the garbage and. Danny did more, more prime pressure. Is that what you, you kind of consider your role a bit of, a bit of, as a bit of a garbage man? Uh, this week, yeah. I mean, in the past, Danny was. So, you know, we're trading off. I mean, Andrew Hudson or Evan Hudson might be next up to clean up all the sacks. So, uh, just getting pressure and being in the quarterback's face is you know, cool. And, hey, and look at do it you think stats. that might go? I'm sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, look at it, the stats for Georgia State. Any semblance to, to Eastern at all in terms of the way they throw the ball and what you might, you guys might, uh, might see on Saturday? Yeah, it's I mean, pretty similar, but they want to run the ball. You know, um, and in some of the situations, they, they might not have been able to run as much as they wanted to. Um, so we're gonna prepare for that. You know, react to pass or you know, when it's past, past the situation, you want to get after it and uh, pressure the quarterback. He's a little more more of a runner and might scramble to throw and things like that. Hey, do you think that thing that, that you have with Danny, that it may go back and forth? Uh, uh, last week he had four sacks. This this week you had three, you know, simply because teams will then say, all right, where do we need to sort of shade our protection, and then that's going to free up the other guy. That should be the case. I mean, if, if either one of us or any any one of us on the D line is drawing extra attention, you know, that should free up the other guys automatically because they'll have a one on one, or you know, the slide of the protection will go one way, and it'll help uh, the other individual get you know easier. Lanes, I guess. Do you like feel that like, that you had more one-on-one -on -one op opportunities against yeah, Illinois? I so. Yeah, I think so. There was a, a fair amount for the ends. Um, you know, they were, they were focused a lot on Danny and, and the guards were doing well, so he got a lot of double teams and stuff like that. Is there any friendly competition between you and Danny for kind of who gets the sacks at the end of the season? I mean, he's got six, you got five and a half. You're, he's first, you're third in the nation. Is there any kind of friendly, you know, album going on? Of we don't talk about it much. I mean, uh, you know, stats are stats are for losers, Coach says. So, you know, we, we don't focus too much on it. But at the end of the year, we definitely want to want to see uh, you know, the best out of each other. And, and uh, you know, whoever gets it gets it. So you want to be the biggest loser? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't. I don't worry about the stats too much. But it's, it's a fun competition knowing that Danny's uh, pass rush has got him a lot better, and he's he's there every time that, that I'm there. So. Oh, any any concerns this week about? Uh,